hi, 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 hi. And welcome back to Taste with Tosh. Thank you, Darlene, for lunch. And yesterday, day before, day before, day before, thank you, Paula, for dinner. So, what? No, you can talk, you just can't talk louder than me. And next time, before I start the video, remind me to turn the radio off. I don't want YouTube saying, no, that has music in the background or whatever. Okay, so, not that I need my glasses to see my food, but this is a very yummy, yummy, this is my, between uh, chicken primavera and turkey with everything on it, this is my first favorite sandwich, which is by Quiznos. Quiznos, Quiznos. And you know, they leave it face open and they run it under the broiler real quick. So thank God it didn't run very long and make it hard for me to uh, bite with my dentures. Look at that yummy, yummy, um, uh, what is it? Um, what is that sauce? It's kind of a little spicy, but not really, really hot. That sauce. Chicken, mushrooms, olives, bacon, cheese. Oh, a cheesy bread. Um, bun and my favorite sun chip is yours too okay jordan likes spicy stuff you can't see jordan he's behind the camera and janae likes spicy stuff my sister that sits over here uh i normally wouldn't buy these out of like a vending machine because they have that um jalapeno on it and i don't know what your version of hot is but i don't want to know if it's too hot for me so I ordered these by mistake with my sandwich, you know, because I get food delivered, right? And uh, the first time it was spicy. And then, you know, after that, it's not spicy anymore. So now I get like four or five bags of these and throw them in the cupboard. So when I have another sandwich, I got my favorite chips. And it's a trip when I go into other sandwich places, I never see these. Can you hear me crunching? I hope so. Um, oh, and one of you were asking me about my, my dresses. These are caftans. Of course, they go pretty much all the way down to the top of my foot. You know what the old ladies wear <laughs> when we don't feel like putting any clothes on. The arms are closed, so you don't get to see a side view of the girls or anything. And they're just long and comfortable. And if I go out, of course, I put clothes, clothes on, you know, jeans and a shirt. Um, but if I'm going just to the doctor and come back home, I wear a caftan, which I wear a lot of, as you will see in these videos. Um, oh, and what is this? I don't know what this is. I think Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. So, um, somebody was asking about my plants. Nice, good, big pieces of uh, chicken breast. Oh man, I love this sauce that they put on here. I can't think of the name of it, so maybe by the time I get done eating and ed start editing, I'll remember it. Um, I can't think of the name, I'm sorry. In one of my other videos on my other channel, she was noticing that I talk a lot about my succulents, which I just started raising April 12th. I got my first batch. And most of them are still here, yay! You can't have these, honey. I don't know what they'll do to your little chihuahua system. Mm. For others of you out there that don't, that like just a little spice, 
This might be it for you. It's not hot like a, a jalapeno. It's not hot at all. Anymore. So I started going succulents so I have something to take care of. That doesn't require a lot of attention because I'm trying to grow my vegetables outside on the patio, which require enough attention. So in here I got, what, 18 succulents and one's in the office. My Echeveria brown rose is growing lovely. I'm so happy. And for those of you who know succulents, I think I'll stick to the um, how worthy is from South Africa and the panda plant. I don't know where it's from because it's nice and hardy. Mm. If you guys haven't tried Quiznos, you might consider it. For a sandwich, they're reasonably priced for a good sandwich, not just, you know, cheap meat like maybe some other sandwich places use. Um, I mean, you can see the chicken is like real chicken. Mm. Nice chunks of chicken. You know, and with them, I do like the fact that it covers my whole bread, not just a piece of my bread. Well, you know, I have a rather anal retentive mother, so don't you tell her I said that. And that's how she taught us. Every single bite should have everything in it. So even on the corners here, there's cheese, da 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 da. And, um, This is really a, a great sandwich, and I just, I need to get some of this side sauce. I'm, sauce on the side. Sorry. Because I absolutely love it. I would eat this on everything. Whatever this, um, dang it, I can't remember the name of that so sauce. That's just a little spicy, but not hot. I'm trying to remember the Jack in the Box commercial, which I haven't seen in a long time. Oh yeah, I don't watch TV. Well, I expected me to see it on YouTube, in the commercials on YouTube, you know, or Hulu. That's pretty much all I watch. It's YouTube with Hulu. So I was trying to uh, envision the Jack in the Box commercials, as Jack says, what that sauce is. Oh, love mushrooms. Okay, I love just about everything. So anyway, back to my how worthy is. They're growing really, really good. I'm so happy. I started growing them. They do bring me joy. Because I don't want anything that's going to get too, too big except my... I forgot the name of that plant. It's got a club shape leaf and it's some sim similar to a succulent because they got nice thick leaves and they grow in offices a lot and they line them across the wall, whatever that one is. That's probably the only plant that I really want growing in my house because it's so easy to take care of. But I haven't seen one here yet at Walmart. I have to go to another store. Oh, I ordered on Amazon. <laughs> Good old Amazon. I mean, whoever thought, whoever thought of that, kudos to you. Um. Anyway, yeah. If you guys don't know much about succulents, I'm I'm just now learning. But they do bring me joy. It's nice having a plant where you just water it. I mean, my succulents, I give them maybe two tablespoons of water every other Sunday. 
And that's it. Oh, Robert. Mm, sorry, Robert. I try. Robert, you're too precious. You know that? Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And thank you to my couple of new subscribers. I appreciate you too. You too, too. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It is a smoggy day here in Vegas. Wind is blowing. Oh, I think we got a, a tornado. Not tornado. Uh, I think we got another um, warning. Yeah. Oh. What time is it? We have a dust storm warning. That's what it is. Glad I don't have to go outside. Being retired is good, y'all. Hmm, that's good, huh? What did you get? Hmm, that was good too. Um, I forgot about being in the desert having dust storms. There you go, Robert. I almost held it in. I remembered in time. Hey, if I can make somebody happy, I will. And I'm gonna make a lot of y'all happy as soon as I get my new mic. So go to Tasha's Touch, Healing Jewelry on Facebook, buy some jewelry so I can get my microphone. And then I'll be smacking all the time. Close up. <laughs> okay, not always close up, but you know what I mean. That's gonna be so nice. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a beautiful day, eating lunch with us. And what are you eating? And if you're eating, are you eating on your channel? If so, what is your channel? Leave a comment so I can go subscribe. And yes, I know today's not Wednesday, <laughs> but my saving grace is I checked out my calories and fats and all that stuff, which I don't always do, but again, I'm trying to keep the weight off that I already lost. And this is what I would be eating in a meal anyway, so... But since I live here now, I eat a lot less because of the heat. Yeah, heat is not my best friend. So, of course, I just drink, um, where is it? Oh, it's not there. I have a huge glass that holds, like, I don't know, eight glasses of water. Glass, glass, like a beer. Stein. And I fill that up as it goes down. I keep putting ice in, ice, ice, ice. And that's pretty much how we spend our days, drinking water, making jewelry, and watching YouTube. I love these chips. You remember when these came out? And there's the supposed to be the healthier chip saturated fats one trans fat zero cholesterol zero sodium we won't even discuss that that's why I try not to eat a whole bunch of chips too much salt Total carbs, 28. Ugh. Dietary fiber, 4. Total sugars, 4. And we have potassium and iron. Yay. 
Okay, that part is good, but yeah, a sodium. Yeah, I don't. I, two things I never buy is soda. I I, I know I never go to Walmart and buy a two liter soda ever because I know I'll drink it. I don't buy bacon because I know I'll fry that thing up and eat it. every single slice in one sitting. So I don't buy that, and I rarely, rarely buy chips. Or I'll look for, I forgot whatever the name brand is. I should do a review on that one. Um, with really low sodium. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wish you guys were here at the table with us enjoying lunch. I was watching Eat with Chunky last night, watching her last year's video from Valentine's Day. Chunky, I sure love you, girl. You are just a shit. Yes, you are. And of course, I had to go over to Sass, my favorite, my favorite ASMR, ASMR. <laughs> her and her husband are in Mexico right now. And she is showing us the grasshoppers and taco. Not even with chocolate on it. <laughs> Ain't going there. But she's from Thailand, I think. So she might be used to that. I might be willing to try. I've had octopus once before, but I might be. I be. I might be willing to try one of those little baby octopuses. This is. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know. So some things I'm willing to try. Other things just do not make sense to me. I say it like that. It's not a put down. I'm saying it like that because her body is probably already used to eating those things growing up. My body's not used to eating a lot of squid, though I've had, you know, fried calamari, of course. And, um, what's the other weird thing I'm going to tell you? Cactus apples. Things like that I'm used to. But that star fruit thing, no, I'm good. Oh. I'm going to try that Darien. That's what I told you last time. So I've been calling around trying to find a Darien. D-A-R-I-A-N. It's a big, huge, prickly thing. That looks good. You have to forgive me. It is a habit to look outside because it is just absolutely beautiful. I just moved here six months ago. From California to Las Vegas. And I got the apartment, the exact place that I look, the exact place that I asked for. Windows, windows, windows. Is it raining? No. And the pine tree is there, so the birds are always flying in the tree. Yada, yada, yada. Next time, I think I'm going to cut me up a tomato. You know, I'm going to say that probably because I saw Chunky eating a tomato last night with her um, peppers and what was she eating? Her and her honey? They're so cute. Eat with Chunky. Check her out. She was eating a steamed tomato with whatever Mexican food they were eating. It looked so good. Oh, sorry, Robert. There you go. 
You gotta know every time I burp, I think of you, right? <laughs> um, um, so she was eating tomatoes last night. Oh, it looks so juicy and good. So I'm praying that my tomatoes grow good. Because that's one thing I don't, I, I can just eat tomatoes every day. Oh, um, I think your name is Deborah. Thank you for writing me, Deborah. I'll, um, write you back today. Well, you'll be seeing this and know that you should have an email by the time you see this. I'll be happy to make you a, a lovely, um, oh shit, what did you ask me for? Crystal Cola pendant. One of my favorite stones. <laughs> Chunky, she's just so cute. Her and her bottle. They would talk. This girl. I know it's my thing, but you guys can talk sometimes too. You know, you don't have to text each other on your phone. <laughs> anyway, they tell their story, and he tells his view. She tells her view, and quite often she tells his view too. <laughs> You're so cute. You know? So, anyway. I hope one day to figure out exactly what all of my succulents need and grow them like crazy so I don't have to buy them anymore. I am in the process of learning to propagate. You take a leaf off. It gets a wax cap on the end where you pull it away from the main body and it regrows by itself. So that's what I'm working on now. So after my panda plant, which is furry by the way, grows a little teeny bit more, I want to pluck a leaf off of it and propagate it. So then I always have it. Am I smacking enough? That's a while. <laughs> what a while. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Mushrooms. Yum. Can you guys hear the wind? I hope you can. Nice. And we're supposed to be having thunderstorms. Oh. Well, I won't mention your name. But the one of you that asked me... <laughs> you know, I just didn't think of all these things in life, you guys. So please forgive me if I seem rather naive. So, <laughs> yeah, somebody, because you know I put my email underneath every one. Somebody wrote to me and, I don't know, he or she wants me to show my food more. And I got to tell you, I'll get there. But right now, my mother's head is still in, in my, my mother's voice is still in my head saying, that's not lady like, you weren't born in a barn. So, but there you go. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, and the other good thing about succulents, you know, 
when I had my tomatoes and stuff over here and sometimes the water fits on top that brought gnats I don't want no bugs y'all I brought gnats I don't want no damn gnats flying around in my face so I put that shit outside um so with the succulents just watering them like most of them, honestly, I just give them a tablespoon every other Sunday. If they need more, then the bottom leaves will get a little soggy. And then I'll move it up to two tablespoons every, every other Sunday. So, um, you guys are so funny. And that's not a put down. Thank you for being here. Thank you for writing. If I didn't want you to write, I wouldn't put my email and all that other stuff out there. You know? Yep, I got one bag for both sides. Mm hmm. Mmm. This bag is a little spicier. Yay. Well, a little spicier, not a lot. I like to taste my food, not burn my tongue. <laughs> so what else do you guys like in food eating videos? Comment on that. Because, you know, even as a growing older person, I still need to get out of my old mother's voice. <laughs> I need to get my mother's voice out of my head. And you're helping me do that, obviously, because I'm here. Oh man, I just love these. Mm-hmm. Well, it's what? This bag is a teeny bit more spicy. Mm, there you go. Than the other bag. So you know I'm asking myself in my head. Oh, sorry, Robert. Am I matching things? Nope. This one is a teeny bit spice here. So anyway. I moved here from San Jose. Never hire movers. Drive the damn truck yourself. They broke up a whole bunch of my shit. And now. So they don't have to pay you. They say, send everything in snail mail. Who does that? Well, I didn't have $1,000 to go buy 20 ink cartridges to print out the... Honest to God? Okay, I won't over-exaggerate. I want to say 100. Okay, so 75 pictures of my stuff that they broke to send back to them. And they wanted three pictures of everything. Far, close, close up. I didn't have the money for that after just giving them $2,788.42. Yeah. To break up all my shit. Okay. More than half of my shit. Cause you know I brought my princess house crystal with me. And why she drove me up here? Cause I saw how they were tossing my shit on the back of the truck. And I'm like, give me my crystal back, give me my crystal back. I said, if you fuck with my crystal, I don't want to kill somebody. So what they did was, you know those huge clothes boxes? Like you hang your clothes in. I had eight of those. And they just took everything and dumped it in there. Like it was garbage. Yeah. So my monitor, thank God, was scratched but not broken. But my fan, oh, 
had I make jewelry so I had you know those poles that you put your hang your jewelry on when you go to you know shows and stuff one of those prongs was stuck through the fan yeah so when you guys move just get your own u-haul and drive yourself it was a it was a um, so you haul um, trailer to go in back of the truck. I was going to rent a truck. Marcy was going to drive. Would have only cost nine hundred dollars. You know, plus the, whatever the truck rental was. I rented us a car. That was fifty bucks plus gas. Just do it yourself. Yeah, it's a lot more work. But what I did was I asked somebody that I already knew lived here. Do you know somebody who can go just take this stuff off the out of the car for me? Oh sure. Cute senior citizen guy. Kane. I paid him a hundred bucks to take the stuff that out of the station wagon type new car. It was cute, whatever it was. Out of the car and bring it upstairs. Hundred bucks. So yeah. Move your own stuff yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Love my chicken. Yep. I'm one of those black women who can eat chicken every single day. I never get tired of it. Ever. Because you cook it a lot of different ways, you know. I just have the same thing every single night. Though if I cook the good fried chicken, I don't cook a good fried chicken. My sister Dana cooks good fried chicken. I do my best. But even if it was fried chicken, I could still eat that seven days straight. <laughs> Mm. Even the movers that unpack my stuff said that the movers that pack my stuff did a horrible job. Yeah. Damn it, I should have found out if there's a class action suit against them. That's what I should have done. But you're. T I was too hot headed. Couldn't think clearly. I gotta work on that. I get angry twice a year, maybe. <laughs> but that was enough to last me for the next five years, so I won't be doing that again anytime soon. And I gotta tell you, now that I'm here, I mean, well, you guys can look at videos and see how nice it is here other than the heat. But like I told you in the last video, I don't go out until um, after the temperature goes to 80. I'm serious. Huh, we don't go out until after the temperature's 80, huh? If I have to go out, hurry up and jump in an Uber, go, do whatever I need to do, and come right home. Mm-hmm. So they told me that um, in August it's gonna be cooling off, so. I can't wait for August. <laughs> And of course, you know, we have a lot of um, thunderstorms, but I love me some thunderstorms, honey. Yes, I do. What was it? Night before last, I uh, recorded it on Facebook live. It was so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Wow. There you go, Robert. Um, so I just sit with the door open, holding my phone the whole time, and it, I get, we get our very own fireworks show. <laughs> well, that's how I look at it. Because it, when the bolts and stuff come down, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a um, fireworks. 
a roller coaster. Because I get that <sighs> feeling, you know? I love roller coasters. And yeah. It's taken me a while to get used to not seeing grass. That really fucked me up when I first did a few trips to the post office to drop off, uh, take my Joey to be mailed. And I'm like, where's the, oh yeah, I'm in the desert, oh duh. I can, I, you know what, next time I should do a live so I can watch all, what, 31 of you <laughs> chat. Chat with me, don't forget to subscribe. Something on every piece of the bun. I love it. This would be mother approved. <laughs> it really would. My mother is way too fastidious, but you know what? That's okay. She taught me mainly to respect other people's opinions, privacy, yada, yada, yada. You always have to think of the other person. So we're supposed to be having a thunderstorm. I can't wait. So I don't have all my furniture and stuff yet, right? So most of those eight boxes of clothes boxes, I mainly put everything from the living room into, of course, you know, the appropriate two bathrooms or whatever, bedroom. And um, now I'm cleaning all that crap that I shoved in the closets in there out one by one by one. Still buying furniture little by little by little, but as soon as you know enough of you subscribe, you gonna give me a nice little check. You gonna buy all the furniture I want? Two lazy boy chairs. I want a cute little rack here for my succulents. I want a cute little rack over there to grow all my herbs, so I can stay healthy. Make my own medicine. I do cook, except when I take a break. Don't worry about it. I have you guys. My extended family. Thank you very much. This is a little hard. I don't want to break a tooth. jump at every little noise. She jumping now. <laughs> She's so cute. I forgot to thank you guys because every time I do a video and load it, there's more emails and more suggestions, so thank you. And don't forget to subscribe so I can hurry and buy my mic and do my ASMR videos. And then Robert, you'll be able to hear me burp in stereo. I love that. And I'm not making fun of you. I thank you for suggesting it. I am in no way making fun of anybody. I'm too busy laughing at my own damn self. No. 
So you guys. But don't forget to leave a comment so I can go to your channels and subscribe to your channels too. Okay? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Those are so good. Now I gotta be good and go back to drinking water for the rest of the day. Thank you for being here, having lunch with us. It's a beautiful day. I hope it's beautiful wherever you are. And you know, when you put a towel down, as mama would say, then you don't have much of a mess to clean up. I tell you, she would be so proud that I actually remember most of the shit she said. <laughs> So I want to know your channel. Oh, I said that already. Sorry. So subscribe so I can know your channel. Go to your channel. Subscribe. See whatever it is you do. Help me get better at doing what I do. See if I can give Robert one more for the road. Don't make me laugh, and then it won't come out. Mm. I know it's in there. <laughs> Robert, it, I, I see you laughing at me, Robert. Well, I tried. Okay, guys, thank you for having a little taste with me. Thank you for listening and enjoying my stories. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to send them. I'm not very shy, but I do have to watch my mouth because I know other people are shy and I don't want to offend anybody. You know. So know that I love you and have a beautiful, beautiful day, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.